space tourism in New Mexico is growing and there are going to be some big things coming out of Spaceport America. That includes the return of commercial space flights after a pause of operations from Virgin Galactic earlier this year. News 13's Gabe Chavez has the update. Our vision is Spaceport America completely full. A wave of tourism is taking passengers 262,000 feet above the Earth's surface and the industry is continuing to grow. The New Mexico Spaceport Authority and Virgin Galactic gave an update on the state of the industry and its economic impact to the Legislative Finance Authority Oversight Committee today. Folks are bringing uh, dozens of people. The last flight, Galactic 7, four astronauts brought a total of 220 guests with them uh, to stay for the week. Today's presentations began with Spaceport America speaking about the growth they've seen and where they're headed. We're now uh, getting working on is a, a new hangar. So this is a $10 million hangar. It's about $2 million for the hangar and about $8 million for all the concrete and associated infrastructure that has to go with it, even the taxiway. And money from Virgin Galactic has also been a help to the spaceport. Its lease and operational payments providing up to $35 million for the state. Virgin Galactic also telling the committee its next steps moving forward. Introducing the design of Virgin Galactic's Delta-class spaceship. Unity flew every three to four weeks. These vehicles are designed to fly every three to four days. The company now working on two new spaceships and expanding their fleet. But we're going to book on, we get 125 a year in revenue. That's 750 customers flying a year. And you do the math, that brings in about $450 million of revenue to the company just with two spaceships. Gabe Chavez, KRQE, News 13. Virgin Galactic says that Delta class spaceships should be arriving in 2025 and 2026 for commercial space flights.